You can watch the live stream from here at Rudy's or on our flagship station in Waco. We do appreciate you being with us tonight. Here's what we have. Our guest tonight, Joey Scrivano, Baylor women's tennis coach, then Glenn Moore, Baylor softball coach. That's our show for tonight, and we'll begin with Coach Scrivano right after this, live from Rudy's. to click past the silence in between the spot breaks. So. But you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. I was like, the spot's playing. Why is there no noise? Oh, okay. Because the grass sun, they're the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. Next in line. Are you ready to elevate your Waco experience to a whole new level? Look no further than the Baylor Club, where you can indulge in one-of-a-kind luxury and unwind in our exclusive lounge area. Located in the heart of McLean Stadium, this elite club offers a five-star member atmosphere for all your work and play needs. With a master culinary team and outstanding hospitality, we take pampering to a whole new level. For interest in membership or to schedule your next private event, call 254-710-8080. A new era of Baylor basketball is here. Join us for the historic first season at the brand new Paul and Alejandra Foster Pavilion and secure your tickets to Baylor women's basketball today. The wait is over and the Foster Pavilion is ready to welcome in the Baylor family for an exciting conference season. Tickets start as low as $15 and are in high demand. Don't miss your chance to experience Big 12 basketball on the Brazos. Lock in your seat today at BaylorBears.com slash tickets. For a limited time, get high performance. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's still scheduled on there, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll I'll tell you oh, no, 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 month. And oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was like, it's on the loud, but I'll change it. <laughs> okay, good. No worries. Thanks. Plan with fast speeds to meet all your needs. Plus, get a two-year price lock when you upgrade to award-winning gig internet. No contracts, no hidden monthly fees, and no data caps. Switch today. Head to astound.com or call 1-800-4-ASTOUND. Restrictions apply. See website for details. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. And welcome back to Baylor Coaches Show live from Rudy's on this Thursday evening. We appreciate everyone that is uh, here at Rudy's, those of you tuned in, those of you listening, those of you watching. And everyone, join me in welcoming our leadoff hitter tonight, Baylor women's tennis coach Joey Scrivano is our first guest. Welcome to you. Thanks, John. It's always great to be here. Fresh off the courts, I'm yes. sure. Straight to Rudy's. Very good. And uh, fuel up while you're here at Rudy's. Exactly. Well, we have some of our athletes here fueling up. And nice. They were just off the courts. So uh, it's always great to have them uh, here, so, you know, supporting uh, – the community and women's tennis and representing the program and yeah we're just glad to be here appreciate it very much and uh we'll take questions from the audience so if you have any questions for our our guest our coach uh annie will give you one of the cards and you can fill that out and uh maybe put uh coach scrivano on the hot seat with your questions so welcome to you and uh things are going well here in the spring yeah yeah it's been a great season so far um you know we've uh We've had a lot of competitive matches, uh, and, and those are always really, really great to, uh, you know, compete hard, get the win, but still learn a lot from it. So that's that's kind of been the theme of the season. Off to a 2-0 and start in league play. Yes. How, do you, how do you feel like – where do you feel like you are right now? Yeah, I, I think we've made a lot of progress um, since the fall, um, and, and also just from January till now, I feel like we're a completely different team. You know, in Big 12 play, it's always going to be super competitive. Matches are going to come down to one point here and there. Um, but that's what we signed up for. You know, that's that's what it's, a, you know, it's all about. It's competition and, and rising to that level of competition. So I, I really love this team. This team is so much fun to coach, and they keep improving and getting better, and that's – that's exciting. Ooh, that's good to hear. What about the uh, the new additions to the Big 12 this year? What have they What have they brought to the Big 12 conference? Yeah, a lot of the teams we've added are uh, have historically been uh, really strong tennis programs. So they just added uh, another you know element of depth. You know, and there's just greater parity. Um, 
So it's it's great. I mean, that's what we want. We want to make sure you know, we want to make sure that we we're getting pushed uh, in you know in March and April, and and uh, that's going to happen for sure. You yeah. know, these next two months are going to be really really big. Is it uh, is it good? In what ways is it a plus to have more more women's tennis playing schools in yes. your league? Yeah. Well, we have you know our sport is thriving. You know, we have th- over 300 Division One women's tennis programs. Wow, is that right? Yeah. So it's it's definitely healthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and with the the Big 12 expanding, all that's doing is just giving our student athletes more opportunities to compete in league play, and I think that's what really makes it exciting is when you're in league play. You're competing for a championship in the regular season. Then you're competing for championship in the in the postseason, and that you know that's just a, a, something that's great for young people to to go through that process of mm-hmm. wanting to win and wanting to to you know showcase their ability. And that's what the Big 12 does. It's uh, in my opinion, it's the best conference in our in women's tennis. And a big part of that is because the student athletes are are gritty. They're tough. They're really resilient. And the coaches are phenomenal. Mm-hmm. You know, we have just – I think we have the best coaches from top to bottom in any conference. Wow. So, really good, really great league to play in, and, and it really pushes us. Isn't it great? How many sports uh, coaches can say, yeah, we've got the best league in this sport, yes. you know, like men's basketball yes. this year. Nobody questions that. You say women's tennis. Yeah. Softball would probably be the same thing. That's no, great. No. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the Big 12 is – as everybody knows in Waco, that's it's the best conference. It's it's great that it's back on the right track, and I think the future's uh, incredibly bright, especially with the leadership of uh, Brett Yormark. I mean, he's doing some great things for the league, and um, that's just you know really positive for all these communities that are part of the Big 12 and for our student athletes. Nice. So. What about uh, we get another infusion of schools next year? Yep. Are all four of the new ones next year? Uh, women's tennis playing schools? Yes, they're all women's tennis playing schools. We just played one of them, uh, Arizona State, right, just a right. couple days ago. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, they're really strong in women's tennis. All the teams we're adding, and uh, like I said, that's that's what it's all about is competition, and, and we definitely have a lot of competition. What's that like to play Arizona State uh, this year, knowing that it's going to be a conference match next year? Yeah. It's just given us an opportunity to see their team to kind of uh, – figure out what metrics we need to, to, to meet to, in order to beat a team like that. Uh, we've been playing them actually for the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. So we played them uh, in 23, which really helped us to prepare for 24. We've done that with Central Florida, BYU. Um, so we've kind of uh, prepared uh, for, for this transition, you know, with these teams coming to the Big 12. Some of that's been just by chance and some of it's been strategic. Right. Yeah. Very cool. That's great. So uh, next year it's Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado mm-hmm. comes back to the Big 12, and uh, in Utah will yes. be the four new schools next year. Right. And Oklahoma and Texas on their way out the door. We're starting to see final matchups with them in, in yeah. various sports. Any particular thoughts about the history with Oklahoma and Texas? Yeah, I, you know, obviously those were great rivalries, uh, but they're they're the past, you know. And we now have to embrace the present and the future. And, and you know, we're going to have new rivalries, and they're going to yeah. be great. So that's what we got to do. We can't worry about what they what those two particular schools want to do. <laughs> right. Um, you know, I'm not going to shed a tear seeing them leave. But <laughs> okay. ultimately, yeah. we're going we're gonna to just move move forward and get better. That's a great approach to it. Yeah. And, and maybe – Finish with a win over them. Yes, in absolutely. Your last match. Yeah, we would, we would like to do that. No <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Very no good. Doubt. All right, you got a couple of matches coming up uh, this weekend. Let's take a break. We'll talk about that when we come back. Joey Scrivano, our guest on the Baylor Coaches Show. We are live at Rudy's, Rudy's Real Texas Barbecue, and we'll be right back after this. Baylor alumni are more than 160,000 strong. When we all join hands to support our university, we don't just move the needle. We move mountains. Working together, we create life-changing opportunities for students on the field, in the classroom, in the laboratory, and in life for generations to come. So get connected. Get involved. Learn how at baylor.edu slash alumni. 
Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and EKG. Here, you pay for the appropriate level of care that you receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations serving Texas, San Marcos, Temple, Waco, and Woodway. To learn more, visit www.premier.care. TFNB Your Bank for Life is the official local bank of Baylor Athletics. Find out why more Central Texans are making TFNB their bank for life. Sign up for our Edge Checking and Savings accounts to earn interest or cash back. With five convenient locations and an award-winning mobile app, banking has never been easier. TFNB Your Bank for Life. Member FDIC. Kits can now join the Baylor Cup Club, presented by Green Eye Associates, the official Kits Club of Baylor Athletics. Fans 12 and under can register for the low cost of $25 and gain exclusive benefits and access to Baylor Athletics events. Members receive free admission to select events, exclusive giveaway access, and their own membership package. To register your cub, please visit BaylorBears.com slash Cub Club. Sign your cub up today and sick them bears. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Welcome back live from Rudy's on the Circle in Waco. Rudy's Real Texas Barbecue. Thanks to our host at Rudy's. Proud partner of Baylor women's tennis and Baylor softball. Be sure to stop by your local Rudy's or rudys.com for some real Texas barbecue. Enjoy 100% oak smoked meats, delicious sides, and Rudy's signature sauce. Don't forget Rudy serves breakfast tacos, Bob Baker, every day until 10 a.m. Uh, thanks to our host at Rudy's. There's Scott right back there. Y'all say thanks to him as our host at Rudy's, and we appreciate you. And Rudy's very, very much. Continuing with Joey Gravano, Baylor women's tennis coach. I want to leave enough time because there are some really good questions yes. coming in from our audience, okay? Oh, wow. The majority of those from your team out there, so yes. be prepared for that. But let's talk about this weekend. Uh, you've got UCF and Houston, two of the Big 12 newcomers coming in. Yep. Uh, Friday, 6 o'clock, a gold gold match against UCF. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to there? Yeah, you know, ultimately it's going to come down to our team just, you know, doing what we do every day in practice. You know, we, we, we say practice is the Super Bowl and uh, the matches are, you know, we just we just go out and execute mm. what we practice every day. So uh, that's what it's going to come down to, just doing what we do every day. And uh, the, the players have a really good grasp of what that is. And, and, uh, and like I said earlier, you know, th this is a team that's continuing to improve as the season, you know, goes – goes on and they're improving their conditioning their strength their fundamentals on the court their technique um, and all these things matter so central florida is just another opportunity for us to go out there and showcase what we've been doing hmm. in practice every day good so uh, go gold we encourage everybody to come out wear yeah. gold for the match you think you'll be uh, outdoors or do you know on friday uh, i think we'll be outside yeah. but uh if you know if that's not the case we have the, the you know the uh, beautiful Hawkins yeah. indoor tennis facility. So uh, we're we're in good shape either way. Isn't that yeah. a great safety oh net? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Remember it's when amazing. before oh. we had oh. that? Where would you go up to uh, Ennis, Ennis or somewhere yeah. to play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I have not been back to Ennis since. And <laughs> I bet that's, that's right. okay. <laughs> Nothing against Ennis, yes. but yeah. nice to just go yeah. down on LaSalle that's and right. uh, play right there exactly. indoors. What a great facility! Yes, the yeah. best in the country. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Friday six o'clock is UCF. Sunday at two is Houston. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing Houston because of the proximity. Yeah. You probably played them a bunch through the years. Yeah, we have. We we have. Uh, uh, you know, per, I think pretty consistently have played Houston, and they're a good team. Um, you know, they've given us some some tough matches over the years, but uh, you know, first things first, we just got to get ready for Central Florida, and and uh, you know, right after the show, the coaches will be grinding <laughs> on film and, and preparing. So that's that's what we got to take care of. Good. Do you? Um, I mean, we look at it at it as two matches over the weekend, but you you got to look at it as just UCF. Yes. Then when that's over, then you look at just Houston. Yes, exactly. We just uh, we just you know put one foot forward and and just kind of one step at a time. And, and Central Florida is on our mind right now, and it's more just figuring out what is it going to take. What are the keys for us to to beat them? And it's usually the same 
same old things, you yeah. know, the same old boring shots that you got to repeat <laughs> over right. and over again, and, and that's what we're going to do. Very good. You talked about how hard your team works in practice. Um, what does that look like? Like in basketball, you would think it's just getting up shots. Yeah. In baseball, it's just, you know, taking cuts. What does that look like for your sport? Well, tennis is unique because you have to be aerobically conditioned. You have to be anaerobically conditioned. You have to have, you know, agility. Uh, you have to be explosive. You have to be really strong. And then you got to have the technique of a golfer, hmm. but then you got to move like a point guard. Hmm. So it's just it's a fascinating game in that way. You know, your strength coach becomes one of your most important pieces of your team. If your strength coach has an understanding of how to train all those areas uh, in unison, mm -hmm. which is not easy to do, right? And they're not afraid to prepare the the athletes for the rigor uh, that that comes on match days, then you have a really great shot. We have that right now, and that's it's really exciting to see, you know, how much our team's Im improving due to, to, due to the leadership we have in the weight room, you know, with Cole Durham. Um, and then in regards to the tennis part of it, you know, our coaches have to be able to coach the technical side. Mm -hmm. You know, if a player's technique is not there, you're only as good as your strokes. So there's no strategy if you don't have any strokes. <laughs> so we, we, we have to really harp on kind of tedious uh, – mundane type things because if we don't touch on that the players will regress and they'll hit the ball shorter and make more errors and then they don't they don't perform as well so it's a grind let's just put it that way it's it's a grind for people that don't love that but we love it and uh you know my, my the best part of my day outside of seeing my kids and, and courtney is practice wow yeah i love practice so very good, because you see the benefits in, yes. uh, out there at practice. Y'all are uh, playing really well right now. Three wins in a row. You won seven of your last eight. You're nine and five. Talked about how your team continues on an upward trajectory. Mm -hmm. uh, that's nice to see as a coach, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's amazing, especially when, you know, the athletes are really into it. They're connected as a team. Um, they have pride in representing Baylor. They want to win, you know, for the community. They want to represent uh, the athletic department in a really positive way, and, and winning does that. I mean, you know, we, we can't sugarcoat it. You know, winning is important, but, you know, winning comes from skills, and skills come from practice. So yeah. we got a team that really buys into that, and, and I'm thankful for that. I want to leave enough time for uh, the questions from the audience, uh, but I want to get to this to make sure we have time. Your Cub tennis program yes. is spectacular. It's oh, just great. Tell yeah. everybody about that. Yeah, you know, it's something we started uh, about 13, 14 years ago. Um, and it's just a way to give back to the sport and to give uh, local kids in the community a chance to just pick up a tennis racket and just kind of get a feel for what tennis is all about, you know, maybe catch some of the, the match. And, uh, you know, it's something that uh, is the least we can do to, to provide uh, that opportunity for kids in a sport that we obviously think, you know, the world of. It's, it's the in my opinion, it's the best sport. All sports are great, but right. I love tennis, and, and that's really the, the reason we've done it is just to give uh, young people a chance to play. It's a hard sport, too, so mm -hmm. if you can get some guidance, the earlier you can get some good guidance, uh, the better chance you're going to have success later on. Great. So do you have one coming up Sunday? Yes. Okay. We, we have Before one. your match on Sunday. Yes, I think. Well, I'm not for sure, but I think we have one Friday before oh, the match. Okay. Sunday okay um, and you know our athletes are the ones that uh, that really lead that program yeah. and they do such an incredible job uh, you know they're they're really their hearts are in it and they want to see these kids enjoy playing tennis so it's a special program we're really proud of it uh, you should be it's really great what's the age of the Cubs you want to be able to come there we don't really turn anybody away so okay. if there's some three-year-olds that come rolling <laughs> three -year -olds. in yeah we'll, we'll let them do it <laughs> but it's you know I think the uh, optimal age is you know between five and like 12 13, okay something okay like that yeah. very good yeah. so you met uh, Turner Beard right out there yeah. uh, just oh, yeah. turned four years old oh, so there we go he met, and there's Truett Truett's seven he's prime Those guys for the are, Cub tennis oh yeah. yeah they look like athletes they, 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 they are yeah. yep they absolutely <laughs> are yeah. all right very cool if yeah. someone wants uh, more information or wants to sign up yeah. how would they get that um Really, if you just follow us on social media, it okay. has updates, um, you know, about the Cub program, what dates, and if there's changes due to weather. Okay. Uh, and then they just really just show up. Um, we have rackets there. 
uh, you know, they really don't have to do much other than just show up and have fun. You make so, it easy. That's great. That's right. All right. Cub Tennis Program is uh, one, of, one of the great things you've done in your time here. Oh, so congratulations you. on that. All right. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we got a lot of great questions from the audience for Coach Joey Scrivano. We'll continue with that when we come back. It's our First Place Foods Ask the Coach. When we come back, live from Rudy's on the Baylor Coaches Show, we'll be back right after this. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. On your path, you're your own boss and set your own hours. Look at that sunrise. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. Whoa, that view. It's amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. I got one. It's a keeper. Hey, get a picture. No one's going to believe this. And each day ends binge watching stars and dreaming about all the things you'll do the next day. You know what? I'm catching a bigger fish tomorrow. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. This Texan knows how to sick them. Toyota is a proud partner of Baylor Athletics. Visit your local Toyota dealer or Toyota.com to check out the rugged Tundra today. Toyota, let's go places. See packages and options at Toyota.com for feature availability. Introducing the Sikkim Podcast, a weekly storytelling podcast produced by Sport & Story, the content team behind Baylor Plus. Hopefully people feel that I was approachable, but also that I knew the game. Hosted by me, John Morris, the Sikkim Podcast features in-depth interviews with current and former student-athletes and coaches. As a coach, why you coach is to see other people happy and successful. Subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts, Sikkim Bears. Are you ready to elevate your Waco experience to a whole new level? Look no further than the Baylor Club, where you can indulge in one-of-a-kind luxury and unwind in our exclusive lounge area. Located in the heart of McLean Stadium, this elite club offers a five-star member atmosphere for all your work and play needs. With a master culinary team and outstanding hospitality, we take pampering to a whole new level. For interest in membership or to schedule your next private event, call 254-710-8080. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. The Baylor Coaches Show brought to you in part by TFNB, your bank for life, the official local bank of Baylor Athletics. Find out why more Central Texans are making TFNB their bank for life by stopping by any one of their five locations or visiting tfnbtx.com and Sikkim Bears. And continuing with Coach Joey Scrivano, Baylor women's tennis coach, time for our First Place Foods Ask the Coach. First Place Foods, that's a darn good pickle. We got uh, a, a case of pickles here to the uh, best question of the night, which is hard to say because these are all really good. So we previewed these. Uh, they're, they're great questions. Are you ready for questions from the audience? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think so. Uh, Lindsay and Mishi ask, on the team, who would survive a zombie apocalypse and why? Yep. So Lindsay is Lindsay Patton, who's one of our freshmen from, from Dallas, Texas. And Mishi is uh, Mishka Kalachkova, uh, our transfer from Iowa State, who's right. the Big 12 uh, Student Athlete of the Year in women's tennis Ooh, from last fantastic. year. So the, just, just to give you some context of who's asking these questions <laughs> Okay, here. thanks. So um, – Okay, uh, I'm going to probably say Mishi would survive it because I saw her play a match where uh, she really, I did not think she was going to be able to play. Uh -huh. And she got the IVs, you know, prior to the match, oh after the match. And I thought there's no way right. she's going to play this match. And, and she's, she's about as tough as they come. Wow. So, yeah, so I, I want to say you, Mishi. Okay. There you we'll go. You the Survive there. the uh, zombie zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Very good. All right, Lauren asked the question, why did you switch to khakis this season? Yes. So that's Lauren Latell. Okay. Okay. She's from Where's Lauren? Right there. there. Okay. She is. Yeah, and and Lauren's a sophomore with us. Yeah. She's from Indianapolis. Um she, and, and all these kids that are here are uh, amazing uh student athletes. So I was really proud of them, but uh, Lauren, I did it because I felt like at 50 years of age, I should probably start wearing some some adult pants. Uh, that's that's why that's why I chose to do that. So, gotcha. With uh, fashion tips from Courtney. 
or was this all you? Uh, this was all me. All right, this, I very don't, good. I don't know if she would have approved the khakis. So. She wouldn't approve the khakis? <laughs> I don't you're on your own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Good question, Lauren. Thanks for that. Uh, here's one from Linka. Who could that be? Linka says, top three favorite Baylor athletes of all time, uh, no tennis. Oh, That's wow. a great question. Wow, no tennis. Question. Right? So, you're asking somebody besides tennis players. No, no tennis. tennis. Okay. <laughs> so it can't yeah. be Linka, right? So, so I, everyone knows this already, but Linka Brusova – Associate head coach, um, and Patricia Martins is here as well, our yep. assistant coach. Great staff. And, yeah, amazing staff. And uh, Lank is definitely in my top three yep. with tennis players. No question about gotcha. that. Can um, I say that Lincoln would be in my top three also? There we go. Yeah. That's pretty Way big time. Um, top three, gosh. You need some time to think Man, about I it? I probably need some time. Uh, I'm gonna Who say comes to mind? Comes to mind. Um, Heisman. I, 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 you know what? I love Nick Florence. All right. Nick Florence, when he played that game against Texas Tech, where he played a quarter or maybe even less than that, yeah. and he lost his year of eligibility. Yeah, 10th game of the year. That was, he for me, that he, he went right to number one, yeah. non-tennis players. Um, of course, RG3 has meant so much to, to Baylor, and, and uh, he's, he's, his record speaks for itself. And, gosh, who else is? You know who else? I like the... Uh, Australian basketball player. I'm drawing a blank on his oh. name. Oh, Aaron Bruce? Aaron Bruce. Yeah, okay. Because he came in when we were going through a pretty difficult time. Yeah, yeah. And he was spectacular. Wow. Yeah, so so uh, I'll put I'll put those three. That's um, really good. That's that's your showing you appreciate more than just the athletic oh, ability yeah. of these the, student athletes. Yeah, for sure. The character. Yeah. It's the char just really high character. And, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, so there's right. more athletes than that. There, there's softball players, I promise you. <laughs> right, there, right, Whitney right. Cannon, I think it is. Yeah, Whitney Canyon. Cannon, pretty right. darn phenomenal. Yeah. And and there's a there's more. I've just got uh, – <laughs> there was uh, Megan. No, there was a hitter that was so good. Megan Turk, Turk. third baseman. Is that yes, who you're talking about? Yes, Megan Turk, but okay. there's another one too. Oh, another Megan. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it's just Megan Turk. Who else would it be? Megan Diaz. Oh, Diaz, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Very All right. good. Well, but but you were limited to three, so there we you go. just can't include yes. everybody. Yes. Linka, that's a great question. Thank you. All right. Here's a question from Roy, who is not a member of your team or staff, uh, although it looks like he, he could is. swing a mean that's racket. A, that's Roy right. says, how many languages are you fluent in since you – uh, have so many play have had so many players from different countries. Yeah, Roy, I hate to say this, but uh, <laughs> just one, and it's and uh, unfortunately just yeah, just English. Yeah. But uh, yeah, from the Canadian here, yes, from the Canadian, exactly. it's English, not yeah. even French. Did you grow I, up I, speaking I, yeah, French? Had to study French basically from first grade to twelfth grade, and. Ba the only word I know in French is croissant. So, <laughs> so no. I bet no. there's something deep in the recesses yes, of your mind, no, some French in no. there. My parents are, are Italian, so I definitely can uh, understand Italian oh. uh, and, and speak it not as well as I can understand it. So See, we got a little French. We got a little yeah. Italian, yes. English also. So sure. very well versed. Yes. Very good. Roy, good question. Here's one from Luca Scrivano. Oh. Luca says – who is your favorite player for the Oklahoma City Thunder? Yeah. Sound like a uh, setup there. Lu Luca, my favorite player <laughs> is you when you wear your Oklahoma City Thunder jersey. Nice. Okay? Very good. Yeah. Coming from the biggest Celtics fan that yes. I know in Joey Scrivano. Yeah. Very good. Luca, good question. Here's one from Nico Scrivano oh. with very nice handwriting. Yeah. Uh, and he says, who is your favorite current NBA player? Those guys seem to know you, uh, yeah. you've you got some NBA yes. fans. Well, they've become huge uh, basketball <laughs> fans. So, uh, okay, Nico, I'm going to say Jason Tatum. You know this already. <laughs> got to get a Celtic in there. Nice. Very good. All right, great questions. Thank you all very much. Uh, First Place Foods, Ask the Coach. First Place Foods, that's a darn good pickle. Great questions. Thanks for being here. Good luck yes, this weekend. Good luck the uh, remainder of the spring. Continued success and good health. And uh, very fun to have you and your team and your staff here tonight. Yes. Thanks very much. Yeah, thanks so much, John. Thank right. you, everybody. Joey Scrivano, Baylor women's tennis coach, his 22nd year as head coach here at Baylor. Take a break. When we come back, we'll switch to Baylor softball. Glenn Moore joins us when we come back on the Baylor Coaches Show live from Rudy's. 
Baylor Plus is the home for Baylor basketball fans all season long. I don't sleep on game days because I'm too excited. Go behind closed doors and experience Baylor basketball like never before. I came to fish in top five matches. We're going to turn the tide on them. Do we got them? Start your free seven-day trial at BaylorPlus.com and gain instant access to the full library of content. Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and EKG. Here, you pay for the appropriate level of care that you receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations serving Texas, San Marcos, Temple, Waco, and Woodway. To learn more, visit www.premier.care. I hate my job, but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I dread each day, but I can't wait to get out of bed. You ask me why, and what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Scrambled eggs and brisket, they ain't fooling around. Salsa wraps on there, the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. Looking to connect with Baylor alums in your area? Baylor alumni can help. Looking to host a watch party in your city? Baylor alumni can get you started. Want to step out in your community and serve with other alums? Baylor alumni is your connection with the university and each other. Let's get started. Learn how at baylor.edu slash alumni. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. No time for our Baylor Scott and White, Southwest Sports Medicine and Orthopedics Health Tip for the Week. Don't let pain slow you down. We diagnose and treat sports-related injuries and provide orthopedic services for athletes and non-athletes alike. Visit a Baylor Scott and White sports medicine and orthopedic specialist and move like you used to. And folks, uh, as we switch gears here, bottom of the hour, join me in welcoming the all-time winningest coach, all sports in Baylor athletics history, Coach Glenn Moore from Baylor Softball. Thank you. Welcome to you. Love that introduction. Uh, it's a good one. Hope you get to say it a few more times. I hope I say it a bunch of times. You usually follow up by saying you also had more losses <laughs> than any coach in Baylor Yeah, I wasn't going to say that tonight, though. You oh, didn't sorry. have to bring it up. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> All-time winning as coach, Glenn Moore. Got another one last night. Went over uh, Penn State yesterday. That was a good midweek victory, wasn't it? It was good. You know, with all those wins, I always like to say that I didn't score a run in any of them. All these girls are responsible for them, but they're also responsible for the losses too. So, <laughs> no, that was a good it was a good win last night against a very good team. We added that to our schedule late, as you know, and it was nice when they called and said, hey, we need to pick up a game. We had lost a game with Tennessee earlier, and, and uh, we had that available. So, we – put them on the schedule and had a good turnout thankful for the fans that came out and cheered us on because they make a difference yeah very good and your 12th consecutive win you're uh, 12 and 3 on the year or 13 and 3 on the season now and some really significant uh, wins over ranked opponents this year yeah we had uh, I think the toughest schedule we've uh, we've played in February as a program here at Baylor and uh, challenged these girls with that. Went out to Palm Springs. We opened up with the number two team in the country in Tennessee and let one slip away we thought mm -hmm. we should have had. Went 0-2, but played really well and I think sent a message to uh, the country that uh, we can play with people. And then we go out to Palm Springs. Well, first we'll go to Louisiana and take two yeah. or three from the Cajuns and. Uh, they're they're a pretty good program and, and beat McNeese on the road. So uh, those are those are valuable wins that will come back to help us down the road. And then we go to Palm Springs and, and finish five and oh, first time yeah. going out there four or five times. And we finished four and one before, but we've never swept that wow. the field out there. So. The prestigious Mary Nutter classic out there. And I think three of those five wins were against ranked opponents. They were, yeah, and, and I think three we had to come back from being down. So yeah. it says a lot about the maturity of the team and the you know composure they kept during those games. Nothing new in your scheduling. You're always willing to play anybody, and and uh, I think the goal is there to play tough teams early, get you ready for conference. Yeah, I don't know. I you know everybody likes to win, but uh, it's 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 exciting to win against 
good teams. And I don't think you get better by playing teams that you're better than all yeah. the time. So you got to play those teams that are better than you and see how you match up. And, you know, going into conference, it's going to be a tough conference. But uh, opening weekend, very tough. But we're <laughs> heard the Baylor band play. Band all piped up, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we're, we're prepared because we've seen some of the best pitching and some of the best hitters in, in the country. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you like the way your team has progressed to this point, not just the wins, but just the way you're playing right now? Absolutely. I think they've worked hard in the offseason and summer. They came back ready and hungry and um, building on what they did last year and had some great wins last year. We aged a little bit and, and uh, most everybody returning, and, and they're playing like a veteran team and very, very happy with what they're doing. Great. Well, uh, good timing to be playing your best to uh, start a conference this weekend. Oklahoma State comes to town. I think the number you're, – you're ranked as high as 14th this week, and Oklahoma State number four in the nation. Yeah, three of uh, three of the top five teams are Big 12 teams. Wow. So, so our conference is tough. Like Joey was saying in tennis, our – Conference is the number one conference, number one RPI conference last year in the nation. And this year it's looking as though we're going to be in that same boat. And, and three of those teams are, are really, really strong teams. And we get to open up with one of them. Yeah. There was a week, maybe last week, maybe two weeks ago, where uh, OU was number one, Texas two, and Oklahoma State three. So Big 12 had the top three ranked teams in the nation. Uh, you're, you're a good person to ask this with Texas and Oklahoma leaving. It's been such a good rivalry with those two schools, especially Texas, for many, many years. What are your thoughts about them moving out yeah, of the league? You know, the changing landscape in all sports is uh, a, a little – when you've been coaching as long as I have, you, you kind of get uh, – you know, you like things. You don't like change so much. So <laughs> so I, I hate that we're, uh, you know, we're losing teams that are quality teams, and there are quality programs there. But uh, make no mistake, our conference is not going to suffer a whole lot when you bring in about 11 or 12 national titles <laughs> from the Arizona teams and a very good Utah team next year. And then the teams that we got this year, Houston, BYU, Central Florida, all huge markets that are going to recruit only recruit better because they have Big 12 on their name. So mm. the Power 5 schools are – our four schools are going to be really, uh, really strong, and yeah. we're going to continue to represent very well. And I don't, I think it's going to be more parity in our conference. You know, and it's going to be a lot of people beating each other up, but that's why you do it. Yeah, that's great. That's a great approach. And uh, the league is just going to move onward and upward. Mm -hmm. And so that'll be that'll be fun with those four new schools mm -hmm. coming in next year. All right, we've got some great questions from the audience for you. So uh, let's take a break. And when we come back, get to the uh, first place foods, ask the coach questions for Coach Glenn Moore, Baylor softball coach. We've got that when we come back on the Baylor Coaches Show. Have you gone gold yet? Go gold with Baylor Athletics this season and be the gold factor across each of our sports. We're exclusive Go Gold <laughs> Baylor Bookstore at the upcoming Go Gold dates. To stay up to date on some golden opportunities, visit BaylorBears.com slash Go Gold. Go Gold and Sikkim Bears. TFNB Your Bank for Life is the official local bank of Baylor Athletics. Find out why more Central Texas are making TFNB their bank for life. Sign up for our Edge Checking and Savings accounts to earn interest or cash back. With five convenient locations and an award-winning mobile app, banking has never been easier. TFNB Your Bank for Life. Member FDIC. Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and EKG. Here, you pay for the appropriate level of care that you receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations serving Texas, San Marcos, Temple, Waco, and Woodway. To learn more, visit www.premier.care. I hate my job, but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I dread each day, but I can't wait to get out of bed. You ask me why, and what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Scrambled eggs and brisket, they ain't fooling around. Salsa wraps on there, the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. Listening to the Baylor Coaches Show 
on the Baylor Sports Media Network. Rudy's on the Baylor Coaches Show. Coach Glenn Moore, our guest, the second half hour with a great crowd here at Rudy's. Thank you all for being here this evening. Good number of uh, maybe your whole team is here tonight as well. And we've got a lot. Look at all these questions we have for you, I Glenn. I'm going to be here a while. I've got good ones, but these are, I think, even better. Uh, and uh, it's our First Place Foods Ask the Coach. First Place Foods, that's a darn good pickle. And first one is from Truett. Truett is right over there, and Truett says, who has the highest batting average on your team? Well, where is Shaylin Govan? Shay in Govan. The back, right back there. Yeah. Shaylin is hitting about four, help me out, Katie, four. 63, 463. after yesterday. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. I, I asked the same question earlier today. <laughs> okay. Because we sat down with Shay, and she's our guest on the Sikkim podcast next week, so watch for that. Mm. And I asked Katie when we started, what's her batting average after two for two yesterday, including an infield hit? How about there you that? Go. She's beating out a lot of those infield hits. So nice. we've got a category of Jets, are our fastest ones on the team, and she's working toward becoming a Jet. Jets. I'm thinking about putting her on the left side and let her slap, become a slap. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, very good. Truett, good question. 463 is the average uh, for Shaylin Govan. Riley Crandall asked. Who is the best singer on your team? Besides me? <laughs> Obviously. Besides me. I can tell you who it is not. <laughs> than, uh, I don't know. We'll have to go with Sydney Colazas, yeah. right? Don't you agree? Yeah, there you Sydney's go. Sydney's pretty good, I think. Right. Yeah. Very go good. But, All right. but they're not, you know, we're not, we're softball players, okay? Where does Hoot factor in there? Um, Way behind, down the list? Behind Sid. Okay. Behind Sid. All right, good question. Uh, Riley Casey asked, Oh, this is good. What's your best joke? Oh, I have so many good jokes. <laughs> On the spot. What's your best joke? Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you. Okay. okay. Um, what's the uh, – let's see how <laughs> – got to think about it. What's the uh, – is it longer to get from first to second or second to third? Does it take longer? Take longer. I Same? No. Second to third because there's a shortstop in the middle. ba dum bum <laughs> There you go. A softball-themed joke. Yes? No, maybe. Yes? Oh, got a thumbs up. Good. Oh. You want another one? Yes. No. No. <laughs> Thank you. He'll be here all night. All right, next question. We got to move on from uh, Biz and Bella. Who is your favorite team to play? I thought you were going to say manager. That was going to yeah. put me on the spot. <laughs> favorite team. So that – that's bulletin board material if I say who my favorite team yeah. is to play. So Smart guy. I got to ask that in a podcast the other night with uh, an Iowa State, former Iowa State player, <laughs> and I think she was setting me up. Um, right. You know, I, I like rivals. I like good teams. I like the teams that are, you know, have numbers in front of them. So I'm going to say a ranked team and leave it at that. All right. Smart guy there. Smart guy. All right. Here's a question from T. Strain. And she says, what is your favorite memory with Baylor softball? Yeah. It's a good one. Um, you know, there's – holy cow. I've been coaching a long time, Taylor, so there's <laughs> a lot of them. And uh, probably some, you know, you are a part of. But uh, I think I have to go with – I'll just pick two, okay? Going to Georgia two times in a row and winning a Super Regional whenever they were – favored by everyone and getting to the World Series in 2011-2014 in a very tough environment. That was special. Um, but the, who can um, – who the, the Oklahoma win last year was go. a big one too, but I know we're not mentioning that, right. okay, so I'm not going to say anything about it. The Kentucky comeback has to yes. be the, the, the best one. I think the fans would vote the Kentucky comeback in the World Series in 2014. And we're honoring that team this year too. Oh, so, wow, yes. that's fun. So. Very good. That's a great one. Uh, was was for a time the biggest comeback in women's college it World still Series is. history. And you know our baseball it? team has the biggest comeback yeah. in yeah. men's World Series World history. Series against Tulane. Tulane. Yeah. That's right. That's How about cool. that? Same school. All right. Great question, Taylor. Thank you. Ava says, <laughs> "Would you rather sleep on needles for three nights or sit sit next to Sidney Kayazos on a plane ride?" That is very easy. Very easy. Uh, needles, knives, <laughs> glass. <laughs> It's all about the same, so, you know, um, 
That's an easy one. All right. Sid, we need to give you some uh, rebuttal time. Jensen asks, what is your go-to hairstyle? Are you going to read every one of these? I like them, I man. Mean, I usually get two Only or the good. Three. No, they're great questions. What is your go-to hairstyle? Mohawk. Where's Jensen? Right there. Okay. Mohawk? Jen- Jensen knows that she's redshirting this year, so <laughs> she would not be playing this year. Yeah. Mohawk is your I answer? Think, I think hair is uh, overrated. Let's just put it that way. Hair is overrated. <laughs> My bald uncle used to say you can't have hair and brains both. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. Right. Great questions. All right, we got a couple more, uh, not from your players. Uh, Jolene asks, with the third year of official reviews, this is very timely, what is your most memorable and uh, what is your record of winning the reviews? Oh. I guess challenges. Well, the, the most memorable one is the one that happened last night that I'm not sure <laughs> what that was all about. Right. But I have to be careful what I say about officials. So um, I don't know what our most memorable one uh, was. We've had – I think it's been – I'll just speak on, on reviews. I think it's good for the sport. We've got a long ways to go to get where we need to be with reviews, but, but I think it's good for the sport that we can do our best to get it right. And I'll say this, Jolene, where are you out there? First She's of all, right there. Jolene is our Tory Burke Luke Bear Award winner for all the right. year. All so right. Fantastic. To, thank you. She'll be throwing out the first pitch this weekend, right? Is it this weekend? It's, oh, Next. you were just practicing the, today. <laughs> okay. Um, but, but I think uh, it's probably kept me in more ball games because I have an opportunity to at least protest and let them look at it again. So I've had fewer ejections because of our right. review rules. So. Right. While I can't remember specifically which ones I, I are most memorable, I, I do think it's good for the sport. And it's um, – the only – my complaint is that if you get it right, you should get it back, right? I if they agree. overturn it, you protest, they don't let you get it back. You lose it anyway, and I think you get punished when you shouldn't get punished. Do you agree with that? I think we should get that – that challenge back. Oh, so gosh, we're pushing yes. for that. All right, we're running out of time. Let's uh, get this one quickly. How many all uh, from Roy? How many All Americans have you coached in your career? And is one in Rudy's right now? Oh. There's one in Rudy's right there now. There's one can get in that Rudy's. One. Shaylin yeah. Govan in the back over there. Jay. She's All American for sure. And I don't know how many I've coached, but um, you know, I've uh, I've probably kept more from being an All-American than I have produced All-American. Not true. I don't know. I've been coaching a while, so I've been blessed to have some great talent. And there's great talent and potential All-Americans in this room that have not received that uh, honor yet. Uh, But there are two actually in this room. Yes, there are. Because I almost left out Coach Newman. Yeah, Brittany Newman. I forgot about her. Three? Who's the third? Oh, she did it twice. Three times. Three times. Three All times All American. Yep. Way to go, Brett. She got me a pay raise or two. <laughs> That's nice. All right, we need to take a break. Back with more with Coach Glenn Moore right after this on the Baylor Coaches Show live from Rudy's. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. On your path, you're your own boss and set your own hours. Look at that sunrise. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. Whoa, that view. Amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. I got one. It's a keeper. Hey, get a picture. No one's going to believe this. And each day ends binge watching stars and dreaming about all the things you'll do the next day. You know what? I'm catching a bigger fish tomorrow. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. This Texan. Okay, yeah, about three minutes or something like that. Apart- yeah, three, three and a half. Athletics. Visit your local Toyota dealer or Toyota.com to check out the rugged Tundra today. Toyota, let's go places. See packages and options at Toyota.com for feature availability. For a limited time, get high-performance, ultra-reliable internet from Astound Broadband, starting as low as $25 per month. And now we have mobile, too. Visit Astound.com to order the number one rated internet. Create the perfect plan with fast speeds to meet all your needs. Plus, get a two-year price lock when you upgrade to award-winning gig internet. No contract, no hidden monthly fees, and no data caps. Switch today. Head to Astound.com or call 1-800-4-ASTOUND. Restrictions apply. See website for details. I hate my job, but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I dread each day, but I can't wait to get out of bed. You 
you ask me why. And what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Scrambled eggs and brisket, they ain't fooling around. Salsa draft on there, the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. Next in line. You're listening to the Baylor Coaches Show on the Baylor Sports Media Network. And Baylor uh, softball opening Big 12 play this weekend at home, which is nice. Uh, should be a great weekend. out there. I, actually, I think it's getting a little cooler from what we've had, but should be a nice weekend. Great to be at home against a really good Oklahoma State team. Yes, it is, and it's, uh, we, need a fan, we need the fans out there. We need to put people in the seats and cheer us on. We're going to do our best to give you something to cheer for, so come good. out and support us. Now, is this a go gold weekend? Is that right? Is know. it gold out? I don't know. Katie? It is? Yes, it all is. All weekend, every game? All right, wear gold. Do you have an all gold uniform combination? We do. Uh, we don't have gold pants. We have gold tops. Gotcha. Yep. Which is sharp. It looks Thanks, really Justin. good. Y'all have, <laughs> y'all have some great-looking uniform combinations. So, Oklahoma State this weekend, that's the start of league play. And, uh, again, 13-3 uh, and three to this point and against uh, really good competition. Seems like you've done everything you can to get yourself ready for the start of conference. I think so. And the girls go out and compete every time. Uh, we haven't played perfect every game, but they've played really well at times in all aspects of the game, pitching, defense, uh, we just found out today that we're number number one in the nation in double plays turned. Wow, so really? So really proud of, Terrific. Proud of that. So, uh, and, and offense is produced. We've out hit our opponent a lot more than we've been out hit. So, I'm um, just really happy with what this team can do. The potential is there to do really great things. So. It is hard to turn double plays in softball. It really is. I mean, it is so tight, and uh, obviously you all have a, a plan that works really well. Coach Diaz is our infield hey, coach. Hey, so, Megan. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so uh, uh, Oklahoma State this weekend on through the schedule. What are some of the other home uh, conference series you have this year? Uh, shoot, I'm thinking one game at a time. Okay. So uh, I know we have uh, Central Florida coming in, which will be yeah. will be nice to have a new new face there. Uh, we have we go to Kansas. Uh, we have Houston coming in. Um, we go to Oklahoma. Who else? Iowa State's Iowa State. coming in. Okay. Um, so. In, in Central Florida. Very good. So I think that's it. All right, very good. Starting to warm up a little bit. Although, again, it'll be a little cooler this weekend, but uh, it's nice when it gets warm and you can get outside Some and really weather, take yep. advantage of it, isn't it? Yes, sir. Maybe get hooting out of the jacket out there <laughs> when it gets to 70 it's degrees. His major. mark's kind of 70. Yep. 70 degrees, I think. Well, we appreciate you being with us tonight. Uh, great timing, winners of 12 in a row. Keep that going against uh, Oklahoma State this weekend, and we'll have you back in the spring. But thanks for being here tonight. Thank you. Sick em Bears. All right, Coach Glenn Moore, Baylor softball coach. Thanks to Coach Moore for being with us. Thanks for your questions uh, also for Coach Moore this evening. Take a break, come back, and wrap things up on the Baylor Coaches Show right after this. All right, it should be about 90 seconds. To buy Green Eye Association. Should be about 90 seconds. Kids Club uh -huh. Athletics. Fans 12 and under can register for the low cost of $25 and gain exclusive benefits and access to Baylor Athletics events. Members receive free admission to select events, exclusive giveaway access, and their own membership package. To register your cub, please visit BaylorBears.com slash Cub Club. Sign your cub up today and sick them bears. I hate my job, but I don't mind getting up in the morning. I dread each day, but I can't wait to get out of bed. You ask me why, and what I'll say to you is true. Well, you can get breakfast tacos at Rudy's Barbecue. Scrambled eggs and brisket, they ain't fooling around. Salsa draft sun, they're the best in town. Barbecue for breakfast, yes, it's true. Put a smile on your morning at Rudy's Barbecue. Next in line. Premier ER and Urgent Care has all the convenience of urgent care with all the expertise of an ER, all under one roof. At every visit, be seen by ER-trained staff with on-site lab and CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and EKG. Here, you pay for the appropriate level of care that you receive, and we are in network with most major insurance providers. Premier ER and Urgent Care has four convenient locations serving Texas, San Marcos, Temple, Waco, and Woodway. To learn more, visit www.premier.care. Are you a proud Baylor fan? Do you love prizes? 
The Baylor Sports app allows fans to track their attendance across athletic events and earn rewards. Baylor Athletics wants to reward the most loyal fans, so register online today at BaylorBoldRewards.com or download the Baylor Sports app straight to your phone. Prizes this year are better than ever, so start earning your points today and sick them bears. You're listening to the Baylor Co- Will do. On the Baylor Sports Media Network. And back to wrap things up on the Baylor Coaches Show tonight. Thanks again to our host here at Rudy's. Always fun to come to Rudy's and a great crowd here tonight. Thanks again to Joey Scrivano and Glenn Moore, our two coaches on the show this evening. Reminder about the weekend ahead. Baylor softball opening Big 12 play hosting Oklahoma State at Getterman Stadium. Games Friday at 6.30, Saturday at 2, and Sunday at 1. Go gold all weekend at Getterman Stadium. Uh, Women's tennis, a couple of big matches. They will host UCF Friday at 6, and Houston Sunday afternoon at 2. Also, uh, Baylor baseball opening Big 12 play this weekend. They are headed to Houston to play the Cougars, a three-game series Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Women's basketball opens play in the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City tomorrow. Men's basketball closes the regular season Saturday in Lubbock, then on to the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City next week. So plenty of uh, activities going on in Baylor Athletics, and we appreciate the opportunity to uh, share all of those with you and talk to our coaches here on the Baylor Coaches Show. Next week, uh, we'll be back with another show. Casey Maxwell, equestrian head coach, and Mitch Thompson, Baylor baseball head coach, will be with us next week on the Baylor Coaches Show. Same bat time, same bat channel next week here live from Rudy's. But thanks again to uh, Coach Scrivano and Coach Glenn Moore. Thanks to uh, Bob Baker, our engineer here at Rudy's, and Aaron Sexton in the studio. We appreciate you being with us. Always fun to come to Rudy's for now. Good night from Rudy's. All right, bud, that'll do it.